Hey guys, Alex here, and I recently had the pleasure of test driving this 60th anniversary Turbo Panther RC made by Nico. And this is actually a very old design, but in honor of its 60th anniversary, Nico uh, decided to, you know, add some more uh, modern technology to this RC. But it's still recognizable if you own the original. And in this video, I'm going to test drive this through very rough conditions. Do not replicate these conditions unless you want to destroy your RC. So the boxing on this RC is very, uh, very nice. I like how it's decked out in 60th anniversary um, stickers. It's got nice packaging. You got the turbo mode on it. And a uh, nice USB charger on the bottom. But it still looks very much the same as the original classic Turbo Panther. And uh, it's got three little uh, shocks, which work very well. 114 scale, you can see the length, wheelbase, and uh, width. So I'm going to start off by test driving in the road, and then go through the grass. Now in the grass, it will struggle a little bit if you're not driving through, uh, you know, thin, uh, short grass. Because in the thicker grass like this, it will get bogged down quite a few times. And in this test drive, I'm going to use the uh, turbo mode. Because if I just use a regular uh, forward motion, it will get stuck. And uh, then I bring it to the uh, the dirt conditions. And I, I believe like in the dirt, this is what it's really made for. It just shines in this dirt. Those big, fat, grip tires handle this dirt really well. That said, be careful when you drive it in the dirt because the dirt will get into your RC. So you will need to uh, knock that dirt out. But it's a whole lot of fun driving in the dirt, but just keep in mind, it's uh, you got to keep your RC clean, otherwise it will fail. But yeah, I had a whole lot of fun driving in the dirt. <laughs> Look at that thing go. And a, a lot of these, um, a lot of these test drives I'm using the turbo mode. I like how it's called a panther, because a panther also relies on a short burst of speed to catch its prey. So I'm glad they named it like this. But you can see it got stuck there in the tall grass. And this time I'm going to try to drive it uphill on rocky, rough terrain. It will struggle a little bit here. Uh, but keep in mind, I'm using uh, one hand to uh, drive this RC while I film it. So I probably could have chosen a more optimal path up this uh, little... Uh, Mountain if you want to call it that So I probably could have got to the top if I was using both hands But yeah, look at that all that power on this uh, RC. It's, it's very nice It's kicking up all that dirt. I really did have a lot of fun driving this RC Very fun to drive and Nico it's, it's a very uh, strong brand for RC cars So here I took another uh, attempt at this mountain and I won't quite make it to the top but I still have a lot of fun trying it. Now remember this car is uh, splash proof and dust proof but yeah you gotta sh definitely shake out that dirt after you're done driving in the dirt. Try to get it clean as much as you can. Um, here I'm gonna drive it in the gulf just out on the beach. Now you wanna be careful when you're driving in the water because the water will damage your RC if it gets inside the box. Uh, that said, uh, this is splash proof, but I think I might be pushing the limits with this test, driving in the Gulf like this. But again, had a lot of fun driving on the uh, the beach here, and it did die a few times. I had to knock the water out. <clears throat> Now in this next test, do not do this. This will definitely destroy your RC. I know that for a fact. And I actually ran this test three times, and it was on the third time that the RC started to uh, fail. But it'll die a little bit, and then eventually die completely. I just feel obligated to uh, test drive this RC through very rough conditions for you guys, just to see how much abuse it can take. That said, do not do this. Take good care of your RCs if you want it to keep running. But you can see here on the first test, it ran very well. Alright guys, so in my video I drove this Turbo Panther 60th Anniversary RC to the ground. I gave it the most rough driving you could possibly imagine. You know, I drove it into the ocean. I drove it 
into the freaking swimming pool. I drove into the grass, in the dirt, all those places. That said, uh, this is a very, uh, very fun RC car. I want to thank uh, Nico for letting me try it out. And in case you're wondering about this 60th anniversary, yeah, Nico is going through this uh, 60th anniversary for its company in general. And so they're releasing a lot of these classic um, RCs like this in a uh, more modernized form because back in the day there was a uh, Turbo Panther uh, it still looks pretty much the same you know minus you know the colors and the decals but the body is relatively the same um, and one of the complaints with this RC car is that the uh, the front fender was you know too big but you know it, it's a safety feature for your RC car you can always take it off um, and if you look for this thing on eBay, you'll notice that a lot of them are missing this uh, giant wing in the back, the big spoiler. Uh, this one seems very sturdy. Like, you know, as you saw, I drove it in the dirt, in the pool. It fell a few times, and it's, it's still on there, so maybe they fix that. The biggest, uh, one other big difference is the battery. It, it's all charged to the USB now. You can plug it into a USB source, and it works. And another big difference between this and the, the classic Turbo Panther that there's no giant freaking antenna sticking out of it. So they remade this RC car, but they used modern technology to uh, to bring it back to life, and it's really cool. And it's called Turbo because when you hit this, it goes super fast. And I was surprised at how much damage this thing could take. Now, please do not do this at home because you might actually destroy yours. But I just wanted to test out you know, all these rough conditions for you guys to see what it, to see if, if you liked it. And if you guys ever watch my videos, I, I like putting my RC cars through rough driving. It's just the way it is. Cars are meant to be driven, including RC cars. So, very happy with this. And again, I want to thank uh, Nika for sending me the 60th anniversary RC car.